got off to a slow start in that fourth quarter. Uh, then they got the momentum. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, they were just driving it at us, uh, you know, and, and they got to the free throw line. Uh, that's how they got back in the game with the clock stopped. And, uh, uh, you know, then we hit a couple shots, and then uh, uh, at the end, we missed a few. Coach, the Lions played excellent individual defense on Hanson Tukupo in that last possession. Or were you looking for the isolation for Hanson Tukupo coming out of the timeout? Yeah, um, you know, we were worried a little bit about a, a flare. You know, if he tried to drive it right away uh, and try to draw someone, they've done that before. They kicked it out to Jason Terry. But uh, the, the guys did a good job defensively on him. Uh, and then, you know, now he was stuck. Uh, there might have been a, you know, could have maybe jumped at him at the last second by one of the other players or so. But uh, Lance played tough D. He made a tough shot. Coach, what do we see on the, the Rose and Ted Combo play on the sideline? Yeah, um, you know, we had a couple timeouts and, uh, you know, we're pretty comfortable with getting the ball to Derek in that situation. Um, uh, and if, you know, it wasn't there to, to just call timeout, um, I think uh, uh, L, you know, hit him with the pass and the couple of, uh, uh, Giannis with those long arms got a, got a hand on it and knocked it down. The, um, you know, so that's a tough right. I didn't look up at the screen, so I didn't really see. Uh, you know, I'll take a look at it. It doesn't matter. But I got, even if it was a foul, I'll tell you tomorrow I'll win that mistake. So, you know, it's what it is. Coach, was Mello who you wanted to inbound for that play? Yeah, you know, we, we felt that we can get it right to Derek. And we had timeouts. Uh, so if it wasn't a you know, comfortable pass for him, we just called timeout and uh, probably would change it and, and get our guys out. But, uh, that before where we just got the ball into him and he's gotten fouled. So Coach, what's your message to the team? They, they, you know, defensive effort was there. I think it answered the question whether they're capable of playing defense, but what was your message after a tough loss like this? Well it's that uh, uh, you know not to hang your head. It's tough, you know, you're trying to get out of a losing streak and then you lose a tough one like that that uh, you know you drop your head. But uh, the guys played played well. You know, that's uh, uh, that's a good team. Uh, we did a lot of things right. We moved the ball better. Uh, you know, we, we played good defense. We helped each other out. Uh, and they're in the locker room tired right now. So, uh, you know, they, they uh, played as hard as they could. And, and that's all you can ask. That's making strides. Coach, in the last game, you were, you were mainly playing kind of a way to feel what's in your stand. But today, Lance Thomas played had minutes. Is that the kind of adjustment you will make? On the defensive end, or just for today's game. Well, Lance is a you know he's our defensive guy, uh, and KP was out, so we needed another uh, uh, guy. You know, with with Parker and Giannis in there, uh, it's tough to play a you know a Billy or or a Kyle at the four spot against those guys. So uh, that's why I play a lot. Coach, how's Melo's shoulder, his knee, and Noah? They seem to be flexing them often tonight. Well, you know they're a little banged up, uh, but they're playing through it. And, Part of the NBA is playing when you're banged up, and uh, you know they gave great great efforts tonight. Coach, as you pointed out, you know the effort, the activity was there, um, even in the face of a loss. Is this something you see that you know the team can build on? Yeah, uh, you know we got off to a slow start, and I think we were three and six, and then we won those uh, eleven out of fifteen. Uh, uh, but it was with effort like we had tonight. And if we continue to do that, we're going to win games. Uh, but you know, but again, we just got to reiterate to the guys that's how we wanted to play. Things will take care of itself if you just play that way. What kind of progress did you see with Kuz tonight? He had a lot of minutes in that, in, you know, early in the game to help the guys get that lead. Yeah, um, you know, he can he can figure out ways to get the ball in the hole. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a great shooter uh, defensively. You know, he had to guard either Parker or Giannis uh, for stretches. So, uh, you know, again, it's he's new to the league, uh, new to these players. I thought he did a nice job coming in there, and, and again, having to fill some of these minutes that KP didn't have. What are the difficulties in defending a guy like Giannis? Yeah, uh, you know, with this two-step rule that they now have in the NBA with the Euro step or whatever it is, you know, he can cover a lot of ground. Uh, so uh, he's long. Uh, he does that. He, he can spin, and when he spins, he covers he covers area. It's hard to, to get back uh, uh, first of all in front of him, and then the weak side help. Uh, you know, it's, it happens awfully quick. So uh, you know, he, he he can get the ball. In the paint area and score. You know, once he leaves the league, he has 14 points a game, I think, in the, in the paint. Uh, 
So, you know, he uses his length well.